how to mount a Humminbird 140C on your kayak. This week on Kayak Hacks. The Humminbird 140C comes with a clamp-on mount like this that you use to attach it to your boat. The problem on a kayak is that if you have a sit on top, it's going to be smooth and there's going to be no place for this clamp to work. And even on my native kayak that I sit inside that has the wide gunwales, there's really no place to clamp this because this isn't wide enough. So what I've had to do is modify one of my Scotty mounts to deal with this. But it's not as simple as just clamping this to the mount. I'll show you the problem right now. There's the problem. Look at that vibration down there at the bottom. And it only gets worse as the waves increase or as my speed increases. You can't paddle with that in the holder. Eventually, it'll work its way up and smooth out, as you can see here. But that's unsat. So there's a way to add stability. So what I had to do was put the mount on with the outside along the utility track, and I had to put a piece of PVC underneath the inside set of screws. This stabilizes this a lot more than the uh, other mount that you can see to the left of the picture. So let's see what the difference is. I'm moving in a decent clip right now, and note the minimization of the vibration now that I've added that piece of PVC to the bottom of the Scotty uh, rod mount. So if you use a 140C, this is a way to keep it mounted as you're moving in the kayak and looking for fish. I also note that I've glued these levels to the bracket to allow me to confirm whether my fish finder is vertical or not, and whether I'm getting an accurate depth reading. One of the great things about the uh, Hummingbird 140C is that it will provide you an indication of where fish are to your front, in addition to where fish are below. So if you mount one of these on your kayak, I strongly recommend you add this piece of PVC to the bottom of the, the mount, and that'll provide you the additional stability you need to not only move forward easily, but also get accurate readings on your depth finder. 